In this two-part series, I'll show you how to find the perimeter of composite shapes. Let's begin with a quick understanding of what perimeter and composite figures are. The perimeter is the distance around a shape, and a composite figure is a shape made up of several simple geometric figures. With that being said, the first of two questions reads, a plan for a storage house consists of a square, a semicircle, and a regular semi-octagon as shown. The owner would like to install large windows around the semicircle and the semi-octagon. Calculate the perimeter of the window region. So let's begin by outlining where the semicircle and semi-octagon is. That's the semicircle, and the window is planned to be around this and around the semi-octagon. We're also told that this is a regular octagon. And when we're told that it's a regular shape, that means all of the sides and all of the angles within the shape are equal. So looking back at this, if this is 12 feet, this apostrophe means feet, then this is also 12 feet, that's 12 feet, and that, given that it's a semi-octagon, are both 6 feet. We can start by writing out the equation that the perimeter is the sum of all sides. We already know this side, it's 12. We also know this and that, so 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6. We've covered everything here. Now we need to find the perimeter of the semicircle. The formula for the circumference or the perimeter of a circle is this, where the circumference is equal to 2 pi r or the circumference is equal to pi times d. Let's see what information they've given us. From here to here, given that this is a square, if this is 29 feet, so is this. And by knowing that this is 29 feet, we actually know the diameter of the circle. So we can use this formula to find the circumference. So pi times 29 feet, let's use our calculator, 29 times pi, I have a button designated for pi in my calculator, and it's accessed by clicking shift and this. If you don't have this button, just multiply it by 3.14159. And we end up with approximately 91.10. That is the circumference of the full circle. A semicircle is half of that, leaving us with 45.55. So I'll add 45.55 to this growing equation. Now I can add plus 12, that number, plus 12, plus 12, plus 6, plus 6, and we end up with 93.55 as the perimeter. 93.55, and we should write down feet. If we want to round this to the nearest tenths, it would be 93. 0.6 feet. In the second part of question one, the owner would like to plant small rose bushes around the entire house. She would like to plant one bush every two feet. How many bushes will she need? So unlike in question A, we actually need to find the perimeter around the whole house. So we'll take 93.55 and add 29, this side, plus another 29. That will give us the total perimeter. So for part B, the perimeter is equal to 93.55 plus 29 plus 29, or simply 29 times 2. Using our calculator again, plus 29 plus 29, giving us 151.55. 151.55 feet around this house. Now, according to the question, for every 2 feet, she wants to plant 1 bush. So we can take 151.55 and divide it by 2, because by dividing it by 2, we'll find out the total number of rose bushes, giving us a total of 75.77. So 75.77 bushes. But you can't buy part of a bush. You have to buy a whole bush, so we'll round this up to 76. If you buy 75, unfortunately, you'll be short. So 76 rose bushes will be needed. In question two, a Norman window has the shape of a combined semicircle and rectangle. Its dimensions are shown in the diagram. Determine the length of the border required around the window. We're told that the height of this window is 11 feet. It consists of a semicircle, as you can see, and a rectangle. But unfortunately, we don't know the dimension here and here 
of the rectangle. We do know this dimension. So I'll start off by writing out that the perimeter is equal to 6 plus this, which I don't know, plus that, and plus the distance around the semicircle. You can tell that this semicircle has a diameter of 6 feet. Take a look. It's the same thing as this. And since the radius is half the diameter, we can say, and place a center right here, we can say that the radius is 3. Therefore, the distance from here to here has to be 11 minus 3. So this is 8, and the remaining distance, as indicated by the radius, is 3. So we have 6 plus 8 plus another 8, and now we need to find, again, the semicircle circumference. We'll use the formula c is equal to pi d, so we have pi times 6 divided by 2 because it is not a complete circle. Pi times 6 divided by 2, that's approximately 9.42 plus 9.42. I can go ahead and sum these up. 6 plus 8 plus another 8 plus 9.42 gives us 31.42. 31.42 feet around this Norman window. And there you have it. Two examples on how to find the perimeter of composite shapes. If you would like two more examples, make sure you watch part two of this series. We'll see you soon.